Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the BRX or BRX PLC data logging. Now data logging doesn't have to be complicated anymore. The BRX series uh, can log up your specific data up to 32 gigabytes on a, a micro SD card. It'll store the data for further analysis in a CV, uh, CVS file or CSV file, sorry, comments set, comment separated value. It's basically a text file and time or event. Now this is all accomplished with just one instruction within the BRICS PLC and you can do your analysis um, in Excel or any other uh, program that will accept this comma separated value uh, text file. Now you'll see that I'm currently connected to my BRICS uh, PLC via my USB port located right here and you'll see that we have a memory card the memory card has an LED light on it and it's currently connected it's green it means that it's on and it's ready to um, take data so basically when we, we store data on the BRICS PLC there's two ways we can store it we can store it in the system RAM or on the micro SD card within the BRICS. Now the system RAM is one megabytes. It's available in all the Doomware PLCs and it's the at RAM FS um, that you'll see uh, later on. And then we have a removable memory uh, card, a micro SD that can be purchased and inserted into the CPU of any of the BRICS series PLCs. Now the card can be up to 32 gig and you'll notice that if I just press that down the card will pop out and what you'll see, that's what the card actually looks like. And you have your notch side, notch side down. And then we can just insert that back into the controller. And when you push it in, you'll actually hear and feel a click. And that's what, that's all there is to uh, doing it. Now there's certain, um, like I said, there's that LED light to the left of it and currently right now it's green right now if it's off that just means that there's no um, uh, card no SD card in it or there's no ROM activity if it's yellow it means that the there's ROM activity um, or or SD card and then if it's green you'll see it means that SD card is installed and mounted and if it's red the SD card is installed and not mounted um, so the SD card actually utilizes a FAT32 uh, format, so you must format that card before you use it as FAT32. So if we look up on my screen here, actually the file system is, there's quite a few different instructions I can use. I can actually use a backup file for my PLC image file so that I can go directly onto my card and we can um, back up the entire CPU and all the files within that with time and date stamp. We can also close files, open, delete, uh, move, open system file or make a new folder, um, query the for folder, uh, read the files, truncate files, write the files. So there's several different uh, options. Now the one that we're going to concentrate on right now is the file log. So basically what we want to do is create a log file. Now I have a, um, a program already up here and what you'll see is I have a one second off the system pulse flag and it just increments uh, V0. And V0 just uh, will increment keep keep counting all the time. Now I have an always on and then I created a system log file and this is going to be a uh, timed uh, data logging so if we look at the instruction itself we're saying here on the file system we're going to be going to uh, the SD card so the at SD card FS and we're going to uh, the base comma separate value file name will be my timed file log and that's my example right here and then what we do is we append the timestamp to it to the date so basically it will every day a new file will be created with that new specific date and here's my date right now that I'm working on 
and that's all it's going to do. So then our input leg, you know, right now we can either do edge triggered or we can do power flow triggered. This is our interval one, which we want. So we're going to do it once every minute. So we're going to create a log once every minute to, to do this. Then what we have is our actual values that we're going to um, log. In this case here, we're going to log memory location V0, and we have a count of just one on there. Then if we have success when we log it, we're going to turn on C0, and if it's an error, we turn on C1. You'll also notice that we can turn on our generate file name. What this will do is actually put the file name in the PLC for us that we're actually working on. So we can actually see this file name here so we know exactly what is available to us. So that is the entire file log. So we're going to, in this particular case, we're going to file every minute. So it's going to be a time-based file log. So we'll just hit OK. Next, what we'll do is you'll see that we also have a um, every second. Every second, we're going to be going into our file log. And in this case here, we're going to do an event log. So my event file log, again, we append it with the, the date. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to um, map V0 memory area. And in this case here, our input lag is going to be edge triggered log on event. So every time we have that one second pulse, we're going to be logging. So we should see our, our increment of our V0 every second. And as before, on a success, we now set bit C2. And on an error, we, sit, we set bit C3. So let's hit OK. And that's the end. So for all that logging or all that information that we're going to be putting into the PLC, we only have two instructions. One is going to be timed, one's going to be event, and it'll um, we can have as many parameters as you'd like, up to um, 1,000 um, bits of information at a time. So just over 1K at a time every time we log into that file. So the next thing we'll do is we are going to um, put our controller, we'll actually put it into run mode. And what you'll notice is that our memory log, you'll see is turning uh, color every periodically, indicating that we are logging into our system. And you'll see that my increment here, we're actually incrementing uh, V0, 17, 18, and it'll keep on counting up. Now in order to uh, look at these files and see what these files are, are logging or truly are logging. If we go to the main menu up here, we go to PLC and go down to browse uh, PLC file systems. That will bring up another menu for us and you'll see here that this is where we can actually uh, view the at uh, RAM, so our internal RAM memory, which we said we had uh, one megabit and that's what it is right here. So we have one megabit of information and it's mounted OK. So we don't want that one. We actually want our SD card. So there's our SD card. And currently right now we have two files, which we, which is exactly what we expected. We have my event, which is the logging every second um, file. And we have my timed event, which is logging every minute file. So there are my two files now. And let me just close that for a minute and see where we are. So we're about uh, 90, 91 seconds. So we should have a couple of records there in our minute one. So let's go back to our PLC, browse file systems, and we'll select our RAM or our SD card. And what we'll do is you can either hit the file that you want and hit copy file. Um, copy select a file to the PC or we can actually just double click it will come up with a um, an area which we can save and we'll just say save that okay so it just says we successfully copied it and then we'll do the same thing and we'll save that file so now we have our two save files we can just close that down and what you'll see now is if we go into our um, browser, we can actually see our two files that we just copied. 
And the first one we'll do is we'll do our timed log. So this automatically calls up Excel because it's a comma separate value. And you'll see here is my um, date and time that automatically gets time stamped into our log file. And you'll see here's my where I started the file. Then we have one. So we expected 60 seconds after that because we asked for every minute being logged. We now we have 61 and then we have 121. So exa exactly what we expected to see happen within our uh, value. Now if we go back and look at the other one, which is the event um, log that we did. Again, it's going to be a little bigger. Move that over so we can see the actual uh, uh, date and time. And you'll see here that sure enough, every time one second goes. So here's uh, 738 and we have one. So that means that uh, um, seven, at the end of 739, it should be over 60. So there's 740, so there's 62. So it's about a minute. So you'll see that every time that we pulse, it's one second. Right? And that's what's actually logging. So you can see that logging is very straightforward and simple within the uh, Bricks PLC. And it gives you a couple of different options to do it. So I have never seen a controller quite as uh, quick and straightforward as this is to log information for you. So let's just, uh, we'll just close those down. Now, all the links and documentation can be found at our website at accautomation.ca. Now, if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have on YouTube. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, you'll get notification every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.